Bonjour mes chéris, je m'appelle Danger Jeanne Vex and welcome back to Passepartout, the starving artist. Uh, in this episode, I am hoping that we can finally finish impressing the noble ladies and uh, advance to the next element of the story. Also, they seem to like the, the pandas, the pandas on the rug, you know, the cute pandas, as long as they are more refined pandas. And that brings me to the very first painting I want to attempt in this episode. I am going to turn art into great art by painting a refined panda. So let's get started, shall we? I thought perhaps for this one we could make the background a nice purple. And no, because even though it is a refined panda, we don't want it too refined. So you might be wondering what makes, you know, a panda a refined panda. Well, as it turns out, I have decided that I am going to give this uh, darling panda, if I can just, you know, get wrap my head around the shape, I am going to give this darling panda a top hat. Oui, a top hat and a spectacle with the chain and the moustache. Uh, we. <laughs> uh, yeah, I hope you guys have been enjoying it so far, honestly. You know, with the weird editing and the crazy voice. I mean, I don't know how you guys stand it. I do not understand how you can stand me speaking such horrible French. I mean, I would want to die if it was me. I, I do not understand. It, I, I take my hat off to all of you. You are very brave, uh, very wonderful people. Uh, you, you, your love and your support of me uh, has meant the world. <coughs> I must, uh, I must be a little more careful because uh, if I continue on this track, I might just, you know, start crying. And, and nobody, nobody wants to see me cry. <laughs> that would just be embarrassing, I think. Very embarrassing and uh, very infantile. I must, uh, I must behave myself, I think. So that is what I will try to do. I will try to behave myself and, and not, you know, cry. But, uh, may we, may we, we are, like I said, we are doing the cute panda, well, not the cute panda, we are doing a panda on a rug, okay? Okay. Our adorable little, uh, uh, hmm, uh, uh, uh refined <laughs> is the word I am looking for. Our adorable little refined panda is coming along quite nicely, I think. I mean, he's got the nice top hat, he's got the little spectacle, uh, he's got a very, very nice uh, moustache, very nice moustache. Uh, he's got uh, the adorable little uh, necktie, so, you know, it is very clear he is, he is a very refined uh, cut panda on a rug. Obviously, he has a rug, a very velvety, you know, kind of rug, not just any kind of rug, you know, it's the kind of, it, it's a, a Persian uh, 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 mink, uh, 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 what, what is that, uh, that, that kind of wool, merino, <laughs> it is a very expensive rug that he is standing on, you know, for, he, he has very special uh, feet. Uh, because he is, as I said, a very refined panda. Uh, the people he lives with, they take very, very good care of him. Uh, you know, his, his mother was an heiress. His father was a, a great performer. Uh, you know, they belong to a king uh, or some kind of noble of some kind. <laughs> You know, you know what I am talking about. So he is a very, very refined panda. 
and I think a refined panda is uh, is finished. So let us see if refined panda on a rug, refined panda on a rug, will uh, impress impress the nobility. Not you, George. Also, you will give me a good indication, no? Ah, very good. Goodbye, George. I don't need you to buy my paintings. Now, let me consider my next painting. Okay, well, George is... Oh, we have a noble lady. Uh, before I begin my new work. Noble lady, please. A fastidious artist, much to my liking. Merci, Mary. Enjoy your painting. I am very glad I could uh, make you happy today, Mary. Ah, refined panda on a rug has sold. It has made my day. It has inspired me to continue my work. Not you, Don or Giorgio, whichever one you are. I don't want to impress you. What I would really like is for you to get the hell out of my gallery. Let us see. I'm going to obviously do another uh, a panda on a rug, a very cute panda on a rug. I have my, my reference material as uh, any true artist with worth he sold would have, uh, I hope, otherwise I am just a very nasty copier, which I truly hope I am not, you know, because that would be painful, a very painful uh, realization and not one that I would like to make, uh, you know, to be honest. I am kind of, for this reference material, we are using uh, the very basic shapes as as a reference first and uh, we go from there like this okay like that now it is outlined and I don't have to struggle with the outlines because I hate doing the outlines I do them because I have to do them but that does not mean that I like them now we must give this a nice curve Nice curve. There we go. I'm really hoping that I can, you know, get get things going now. Get the, the nobles impressed so that I can get my invitation so that I can move on. It would be hilarious if I were to paint something that the nobles ate. And then the noble lady comes and she goes, Oh, yes, I like this. I would laugh my ass off. I would. I really would. It would be hilarious. Not really. It would be an embarrassment. It really would. Right now, I am I'm just doing some basic coloring. I am hoping that the fact that I'm using the circles in some places does not affect my score negatively because as we know they like them very detailed and uh, circles do not count as very detailed you know I really hate having nothing in my store in, in my gallery it makes me feel very uncomfortable I know that I need to, you know, refine my art and make sure that it is worth it, but having nothing, I almost feel like I should stick up a blank canvas, but I will not. That would just be very wrong and not at all something that this passport would do. Not at all. That would be much too minimalistic, not enough detail. But if you guys had picked the minimalistic ending, that's actually exactly what I would have done. <laughs> Apparently, the, the minimalistic guys go for the blank canvases, but you have to keep them open like for a certain time before you put them up for sale, which is really weird, I think, personally. Just saying. This one has very big arms. I don't like it. I don't like it. Fuck. I wish there was a way to permanently ban Don and Giorgio from my store because they work on my nerves. They, they're constantly coming in, looking over my shoulder. I do not like it. I do not want them in my store. I want them to go in my gallery, not my store. This is not a store. This is a gallery. That is part of the problem. <laughs> I want them to go away. 
Thankfully, they're not around that often anymore, but still. You know, they still come in, they look over my shoulder in that invasive, money-grabbing way of theirs. I hate it. I hate it. When they say nice things to me, I do not like it. I like it when the noble lady says something nice to me. And it has nothing to do with the fact that they are ladies or noble. Get your head out of the gutter. I am an artist, not a, a, a man or, which is part of the problem. If I was a man or, maybe I would be selling more paintings. You know, I would be selling myself. <laughs> oui, oui. <laughs> oui, oui. Instead, I am just here, all alone in my gallery, attempting to make their art that would make the arts of the beautiful noble lady sing, so that I might get myself a patron and, and move on with my life, become one of the great artists like, you know, Van Gogh and, and Da Vinci and, and, and Michelangelo and Raphael. Not the angel. The angel is a dick. If you watch Supernatural. Which, you know, I don't do because uh, there is no passepartout. Uh, no, no supernatural in my world. The passepartout world. Uh, forget I said anything. Just, just uh, forget uh, that I spoke. It is not a big deal. <laughs> I am just digging my grave deeper and deeper. to break moment um just you know like a note of interest i like while i'm doing this i talk at random intervals about random stuff like and I, that's mainly because i don't know how much of it i'm gonna keep in and how much of it i'm gonna cut out like in the last episode um while i was busy doing all the painting I would just yammer on about different things all the time and the reason for that was because I didn't I know I was gonna cut new I was gonna cut out a lot of it due to the fact that you know I was um, spending I mean I couldn't include the entire two and a half hours that I'd recorded in the final video but I also didn't know how much I'd be cutting out and what to include and stuff like that. So I talked about the most random things, a lot of which which did end up on the cutting table because, you know, I finished the two and a half hours and I'd spent so much time in silent painting that I'd been afraid um, I wouldn't have nearly enough things. And as it turned out, I had way too much. I talked about my wrist problems and ergonomic keyboards and stupid adventures I'd had and Lord knows what else. I talked about every single thing that popped into my head. I talked about my cat when he gets really annoying. And yeah, a lot of it, a lot of it just didn't make it past the cutting room floor. And I don't even know if this is going to make it, you know, into the final video. Because I'm, again, just talking randomly um, about random stuff while I'm painting. And I'm going to shut up now, just in case some of this is going to get cut. Uh, while I draw my good panda. I don't know, man. Something about this panda makes me feel like he is, uh, despite the art on his chest, he's either very high or very pissed off. He's a very creepy, cute panda. <laughs> the panda with a secret. Uh, it's not a bad name. Panda with a secret. Hmm. I will consider this. But now I must paint his rug. Okay, I swear, this is like pedo panda. This looks horrible. I'm not going to call it. Maybe I should. Love ya, pedo panda. <laughs> oh. Okay, at least George likes it, which means the noble ladies will like it. But, oh, I feel, I feel horrible now. I feel dirty. 
I feel like I should never have painted these. Oh, this is crime. My craft is a crime. Ugh! Pido Panda. Like Pedo Bear, except it is a panda. Ah, madame! Are you Elizabeth or Mary? Elizabeth! Merci! Oh, brava! Brava, Elizabeth! Au revoir, Elizabeth! Uh, thank you for purchasing the Pedo Panda. <laughs> I don't know how many more paintings I need to sell to these cows to actually garner the attention of the nobility, but I guess I should get started on the next piece. So I will see you momentarily, I suppose. It will be another panda, naturally. I just don't know which one. I am running out of ideas. Have you ever wondered what cute little pandas dream about when they sleep? I will tell you what they dream about. They dream about... Bamboo, of course, so that they may snack upon it. So, here we have cute panda dreams about bamboo. Not Bambi, bamboo. I must make confession. I don't know how much of this... Yes? Oh, Elizabeth, exquisite. Merci, madame. Merci. Merci, au revoir. I don't know how much of that... Oh, aristocrats adore... The highborn ladies completely adore Passport 2. This is good, we are on the right track. I am hoping to get one of the noble ladies in here, in this episode still, so that we can move on, you know, to the next episode. I have to confess though, I don't know how much of that cute panda I'd actually recorded, the painting process. I have no idea. I am so sorry. I hope you do not mind. So what shall I draw now? I have, I have no idea what I should draw next. I mean, I constantly feel like I am running out of ideas now. My ideas are, are, are run, running out the window. I will obviously, I will paint another panda. I mean, you know, because I am on, on a roll. On a roll with the pandas. But, um... I don't know, you know, it, it, it is starting to feel like, you know, are these ladies ever going to reach a point where one of them invites me to become, you know, her living artist? You know, she pays me for food and sleep and all those other wonderful things. I keep hoping that the music will stop playing, like in the middle of a piece of work. And that's how I'll know that she's going to show up because the music stops. But the music isn't showing any signs of slowing down. I've also started using gradients a bit because I was getting tired of drawing, you know, those single lines all over my artwork. The only problem with this is that... Uh, it, when when I paint over the layers afterwards, it sometimes ends up like, oh crap, now I've got to do an outline, you know, and refine it, and there's both yellow and orange around it, or stuff like that. It's surrounded by two colors. It gets a, makes it a little harder to clean up the painting, you know, the artwork. I wonder what I should do with this one. Maybe make like a sun in the background so that it's like a sunset, and then have it be like a panda by the sunset or something i do not know i am i i am merely trying to paint art you know and share it with the world and and land the rich noble you know what i sound like i have come to realize that i passport to sound like some kind of loafing gold digger uh, find me a rich wife all she needs to do is pander to my ego by saying that she loves my art. That is all she needs to do, and I will be a happy passport to. Just pander to my ego woman and provide for me. Give me room and board. And wine and baguettes. <laughs> oh, merde. Maybe I should put the sun up here instead of down there. I don't know. I don't, do not know anymore. I feel like I'm lost. I'm lost. 
Yes, that is what I am. I am lost. All right, I think I have reached the limit with the amount of detail I can put in this piece. I think this the cracking art is done. Cracking art of art. All right, we have a noble lady inbound, madame. If you would come, please. Tell me what you think. Fuck! I was so opaque that the amount of detail I put into the piece would be enough. Oh no, I've been at this for two hours again. What am I supposed to do? Okay, so for Georgia it is too complex, but the noble lady, she does not like it either. Perhaps the other one will like it. Perhaps the other one will like it. In the meantime, I should probably ponder what I am going to do next. Oh, here is the other one. Madame, perhaps you will like it? Okay, now I am confused. It is not complex enough for Mary and Elizabeth, but it is too complex for Don and Giorgio. Not even George. So it's this art piece was a complete waste of my time. A complete waste of my time. I am so pissed off right now. I cannot tell you in words how pissed off I am right now. I am extremely pissed off. Okay, I will work on the next piece. I will go back to the pandas that they like and do that. I will paint a nice art panda. Fuck! I call this one forgotten. For like those who has promised once to love Passeport and called him their favorite artist and, and that they would never forget him like they once claimed so too the family of forgotten bear, forgotten panda once claimed. And now they have all abandoned him and left him in a rundown place on a rundown carpet with nothing but patchwork, keeping him together. Like the patchwork keeping Passepartout together. <sighs> that keeps him well woven to the canvas. Oh, Elizabeth, she understands my pain. Merci, Elizabeth. Merci. Someone understands my pain. Someone understands my pain. The music is ending. If I close this, would the lady show up? There she comes. She comes. She comes. Oh, madame. Madame, merci. Is this it? Is this the moment we have been waiting for? I am just doing this for uh, computer. There it is! Invitation! This letter regards an invitation to my castle. I am utmost impressed by your craftsmanship in the fine arts. Your piece cracking heart of art truly struck me with awe. The way you use burgundy warms my usually cold art. You let this piece take the time it deserved and it truly shows. I hereby invite you to my castle where you will live in one of my towers. The climbing would be seen as a criminal offense or at least it would be most cruel blow to your career. Marie. Oh. Okay, so we are going to progress to the new act. Uh, I am just uh, not going to click on it right now due to uh, problems with my uh, GPU. <laughs> and I don't want to lose everything that I have just recorded. But we are moving on to the next act. Oh, it is wonderful news. It, it is all going so well. Oh, so in the next video, we are going to the tower. We are going to work for the noble lady and perhaps we will finally finish this series. But until that moment, thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, merci beaucoup for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave me a like down below as well as your comments and thoughts on what we should paint 
for our new noble patron. But merci beaucoup and au revoir.